Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to change the color of your keyboard on your iPhone and iPod Touch. It's really very simple. All you have to do is SSH some files on your iPhone or iPod. And uh, if you don't know how to SSH, I will have a link in the video description or the show notes to tell you how to do that. It's really very simple. Just if you don't have, if you don't know how to SSH, just stop this video here and go watch that video. Okay, I'm just going to show you what my keyboard looks like now. Normally it's gray, and you can see is mine is orange. So if you want to do this, I'm going to show you how to do that now. Okay, now what you're going to need to do is download the color keyboards. So I will have a link in the video description or the show notes to the right. Um, once you get done downloading them, you just download them from the SenseSpace link. This is what it looks like. Okay, and just min open it up, open up the folder, and minimize that. Okay, now what you're going to do is do the SSH. And as I said before, if you don't know how to do it, you have to. I will have a link in the video description. Okay, you should start out in private var root. You're going to go all the way up until you can't go up any farther until it's just a slash there. Go to system, and I should display this on the bottom of. I will have this displayed on the bottom of the screen. Go to system, library, frameworks. And scroll all the way down, and then you'll see UI in caps kit dot framework. Open that up. Okay, now there will be two files in here that you're going to need to drag and drop to your desktop because you need to save these somewhere. The keyboard dash common dot artwork. Drag and drop that onto your desktop. Copy. All right, and then the keyboard dash Latin dot artwork. Artwork. Drag and drop that. And copy. Okay, now once that's done, what you're going to do is minimize this, and now open up the killer keyboard. Okay, and here is the keyboard you've got. You just extract whichever color you're wanting. I've got, well, I'm going to do um, green. I'll do green. Just open it up and extract it however you extract it with your computer. Okay. Alright, I extracted my desktop so I can close this out. No, I actually extracted here. Okay, open up the folder and you will see the keyboard keyboard slash or dash common dot artwork file and the keyboard dash Latin file. Okay, select both of them and you're gonna drag and drop them into the system slash library framework UI kit for the folder. And SSH. Just drag and drop it and hit copy. And then you're going to overwrite them, so sl hit select yes to all. You're going to overwrite the files. And what the reason you dragged and dropped the other files onto your desktop is because if you want to change to your regular color, the gray, like go back to the original default settings, that's the only way you can get them back. Okay, we're going to go back to the iPhone now after when it gets done transferring. Okay. Okay. Now once the files get done SSHing, you're going to reboot your iPhone or iPod Touch or turn it off and then turn it back on. I've already did this. This is speed up the video. Okay, and then you open up notes. Or any anything where the keyboard where it would open up. And then now you can see that my keyboard has is green now. Okay, if you have any questions or comments or anything, just leave a comment below or send me a message. And hopefully I can answer your question. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.